a calling itself comes from the Lord. Uh, and really, he's been pursuing me my entire life. And, and now that I'm 40 years old and can look back, I can see how he's been setting this up the entire time, even when I didn't fully see it completely. Uh, but but even leading worship and then uh, God speaking to me clearly about pastoring, even though I ran from that. Uh, but he's prospering that as well and really showing up in a powerful way at our church in Orlando. Well, how many albums have you recorded now? Uh, we are on our fifth album, I think. Uh, <laughs> I got to count in my mind. Uh, four publicly and one that he told me not to release. Uh, and so, yeah. Well, and, and the Dove Award winning album, Sounds of Revival, was that recorded at your church? It was actually recorded recorded at a great friend of mine's church, Jonathan Stockstill's church, uh, Bethany Church in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. An amazing church, an amazing people. Uh, they just actually went through uh, the, the floods there in Baton Rouge with what they provided for the community. Uh, it's just tremendous and they're just a phenomenal people so I was so honored to record it there uh, we took busloads from our church to join uh, with them there and but a great great church and a great project in, in general the, with the way that people worshipped. Well what had God placed on your heart as you put together the songs on Sounds of Revival and chose the music tell, tell me about the inspiration on that. Well really uh, it came from spending time with the Lord and asking him what it was that he wanted to say to the earth. And, and really what he was speaking to the earth, at least to me, uh, was revival was coming. And so Sounds of Revival was meant to provide a soundtrack to awaken the desire for revival in the hearts of people. Uh, and so we're seeing that uh, begin to, to break out around the earth right now. Uh, and so I'm just excited to see this thing unfold. I, I know that we're just a small, small part of what God is doing, but I'm glad to be a part of what he's saying and doing in the earth. Tell me about the song Spirit Break Out. Spirit Breakout is a phenomenal song. It's actually the first single we released that we didn't write. Uh, but, it, you know, obviously it was made famous by Kim Walker. Uh, but the Lord really uh, put that song on our heart to really kind of mesh with the messages that he would already given us. Uh, and it just is a, is a powerful declaration of what God uh, is doing in the earth relative to his spirit breaking out everywhere. And so that's been a declaration that we've been making literally around the world and kind of adding our own twist to it. Well, William McDowell is joining us today here at the Faith Radio Meeting House Broadcast Center at the Allen Arena in Nashville, GMA Devil Wards 2016. William, take us through the, the project Sounds of Revival. What are some of the, the different songs and themes that you deal with? Yes. Well, you know, no, there's a, a powerful song there, probably the second song in uh, called We Just Want You, which really is a, a, an intercession uh, cry, uh, crying out to God for, for him to invade the earth, for him to, to release revival around the earth. And then I got a chance to do a, a, a great song with one of my closest friends, Travis Green, uh, who's actually nominated uh, several times tonight as well and hosted the pre-show called It Is So, which kind of has an Afro-Caribbean uh, thing to it. We get to travel to a lot of the Caribbean nations at the Africa quite a bit. And so that was the tip of the cap to there. Uh, of course, Spirit Breakout. Uh, one of my favorites is a song called Don't Mind Waiting, uh, which really is the posture um, written out of the posture uh, that the believers took waiting for the Holy Spirit after Jesus told them to wait into the upper room. Uh, and so really, uh, there's, there's this, this, this waiting that, that develops. And the song, as it develops, uh, really becomes this sound, uh, if you listen to it, that comes from the hearts of the people. That's pretty incredible. And as we move through, just really kind of diving into to intimate worship uh, and just kind of staying in that place. Well, that is awesome. William, we appreciate your music and, and what or how God is using you. I wanted to ask you just as we close now at the GMA, is this your first Dev Award? It's my first Dev Award. I've been nominated multiple times, but it's my first Dev Award. And I was surprised by that. Actually, my wife, my family, my friends, they all stayed home. I told them I'm just going to go and come back home and nothing's going to happen. I actually expected uh, other people to, to receive the award this year. And, and the Lord just showed us some favor.